Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys. Hey guys, we are on our way home from our Centre Parks holiday, which is very sad that it's come to an end. It went very quickly. My parents and family have all zoomed off home because they've got a train, the Eurostar train. Not Eurostar, Eurotunnel, which is different. You park your car on the train and the train goes but their train is in the afternoon and we've got a ferry booked for 9 p.m this evening so we thought let's go and drive to Amsterdam neither of us have been to Amsterdam we both like the thought of it don't we yeah and so um we're arriving now we're actually arriving in a park and ride in a stadium because there is like a restricted zone in Amsterdam where you can't drive in unless you've got an exemption so we have to park here and then it's a 15 minute shuttle bus, I think, into Amsterdam. It's a Woon Mall. It's a Woon Mall. We could go shopping. We could. So yeah, I'm excited. I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam. Apparently it's beautiful with all the canals, the bikes, the tulips, everything. All right, so guys, this is Brits Abroad trying to work out what we do. So we got given a, a parking ticket and then we've just bought two of these sort of Metro card things that will last us for the day. That was only five euros 50 for two people. The metro, yeah. Which is that way. This way. Let's follow these people. The yeah, way, the let's way. follow everyone. If they were the ticket machine, one would assume that they're going into Amsterdam. Oh, one would. Thing is, guys, it's quite warm in Europe at the moment. It's 20 degrees. So we've come out without a jumper, but right now I am a little bit cold, but I think that's because we're indoors. Guys, that burger place is called Burger Bitch. <laughs> Love it. I'm also in desperate need of a coffee. I only had two tiny thimbles of coffee this morning. And I say tiny thimbles because at Centre Parks in our little lodge, the mugs were like this big. They were very European. Not used to that in the UK. I like a big bucket of coffee. Are you agreed. Yeah. Oh, this looks cool. A vending machine burger place. Oh, gross. <laughs> what do you think this lorry transports? The golden nectar. <laughs> He said we're going to be healthy today. Keegan, no, we're not doing that. Look at the one with the yellow. I know, with custard, it looks amazing. Come on. Guys, I'm pretty sure we're interrailing right now. You know, when I was at school and French people would be like, yeah, I'm going interrailing across Europe. I think it just means you're getting trains across Europe. Joe went to a very different school to me. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, but maybe this oh, is interrailing. Starbucks. Yes, can we get one? Yeah. Please. Yes. Back Shop local, guys. Shop local. Shop local. Where are we? We're off the map. Okay. And we're going to end up at Central Station. Oh, yeah. And we're going to get... Uh, that green line. The Group 54, that's what we want. Okay. Do you scan or tap? No. <laughs> Not through there. <laughs> we realise it's the one that says M, and it was right in front of us all this time. Anyway, here's our coffees. They always put Joe. Never an L on the end. Well, I said Joe. Yeah. And my L drops off. It's you very do. low register. Joe, Joe. That's true. So I just gave Keegan my wallet to look after because his pockets have zips and mine don't. And uh, someone just came over to Keegan and pointed to the floor and he dropped my wallet on the floor. And the whole purpose of me giving him my wallet was so that he could keep it safe. We've arrived at Central Station. It looks like the Metro, doesn't it? it is a metro. Sorry, it looks like the subway in America. It's very busy though, guys. It's only a Friday. Why is no one at work? We've arrived, we're heading up the escalator. Let's see what the view's gonna be when we get to the top. There we go. Oh, oh, a river. Oh my gosh, I can tell already I'm gonna love it here. First impressions of Amsterdam so far, Keegan? Uh, yeah, cute, like it, seems nice. Oh, nearly fell up. <laughs> Stacked it. Um, yeah, very cute. Oh, look at all these wonky buildings, guys. Oh, this is cute as well, down here. I was just saying to Keegan, these look very Dutch. Amazing. This looks very, this looks very London, doesn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> 
guys, I was just here filming the old buildings like for, for some culture and suddenly the next building there was what I thought was a busty mannequin in the window <laughs> and it was a real woman beckoning us into and I realised maybe this is partly the red light district. I completely well, forgot that not, that was the in, thing. It's just intermingled in. It's just Amsterdam. I forgot that that was a thing about Amsterdam and I can't believe they stand in windows like luring men in there. Like a siren, like a <laughs> yeah. busty siren. Oh my gosh. Thank you. What wait. did you say about me when I. Uh, oh shoot, it was, it was Oliver Duda. I was like. <laughs> oh wow. Pretty though. <laughs> Who are the girls? <laughs> that boat's a bit wonky, guys, isn't it? I think they've not really distributed the weight too evenly there. Hilarious. Oh yes, please. Thank you. It's just going to be a lot of B roll. Look at these waffles, guys. Oh yeah. We come into a souvenir shop because I would like to get a souvenir. Oh, <gasps> Taylor Swift. I just I left her in the will. Keegan wants to get a windmill Christmas decoration. I always get a decoration for the Christmas tree everywhere I visit. It's cute. The rumors are true. Dutch people love cycling. Like, look at all these bikes. We are now actually going to go and try and find, firstly a loo for Keegan, and also Keegan would quite like to have a big tankard of beer, you know, like classic. Is it very, is it Dutch or is it, that to me is very German, the tankard of beer. I don't know, they serve it so. Yeah, well we're going to try and find that, somewhere to sit down, somewhere nice. This looks quite nice, we might see if this is worth going into. Well, they do a breakfast. Keegan, what did you go for? Croque Madame. Croque Madame, which we were wondering what's the difference between Croque Madame and Croque Monsieur, but a bit more curly. <laughs> bit more curly. <laughs> and I've gone for a chicken one. Chicken sandwich. So much for eating healthy. Lunch was brilliant. Keegan ate all my chips. It was great. Really good. Really, really good. Um, I don't even know where we're going now. We're just walking, enjoying the sights. Trouble is, I said to Keegan, because of the way we're dressed in trackies, because we want to be comfy in the car and on the ferry, I feel like, this is a stereotype, guys, that people think we're the sorts of clientele here that are here to get drugs and sex and prostitutes and all those things. When we're not, we're here for the culture. Just the drugs. <laughs> just, just the drugs. No, we're here for the culture. And I feel like we look like two lads who are here to just yeah. have a good time. But, wink, wink. But I get, see the giveaway that we don't have that everybody else seems to have is pink eyes. Yeah, and there's a few people that have pink eyes from all the drugs stumbling around and we're like, oh, it sucks to be you. Or maybe it doesn't. Oh, it does, maybe, oh, maybe they're, they're having a great time. Who knows? Guys, we're gonna have a look in here. I've never heard of this brand, America Today. Oh, they've got some baseball jackets, it's so cool. I'm really getting into like varsity jackets, guys. And I said to Keegan just now, this is really cool, and he went, no, it's not. So I don't think this is Keegan's style. <gasps> Wisconsin! I've always wanted Wisconsin on a hoodie, because I love Wisconsin, it's full of cheese. We, l I love cheese. That's sweet sauce. <laughs> Despite loving the aesthetic, it's quite cheap. Not, not price-wise, it's expensive, but the quality felt quite cheap, so. Sadly, no Wisconsin hoodie for me. I want it to be a thick hoodie, not a thin H&M type hoodie, do you know what I mean? Guys, we're in H&M. Look how lovely it is in here. Oh, wow. I love that I just bitched about that other shop for being like H&M, and I'm now in H&M. <laughs> Stumbled across a lovely little market. You guys know I'd love to have a, br a browse, but they're all in Dutch, really. But I love a European market. Just saying, what I like, the, the tram goes over here. You can see the lines in the grass. And it's a really cool way of keeping the city looking quite green. I mean, I say it as we pass this hideous box, but <laughs> it makes it look quite green. And the, the tram just goes over the grass. This is, which you can't see because of the sun, I'll get you a better view, this is the palace. So I don't know guys if the royal family still live here, I'm, we're guessing they don't because like Buckingham Palace, you wouldn't even be able to get this close to Buckingham Palace. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that wouldn't happen outside Buckingham Palace. <laughs> or hot dog vendors. So I'm guessing that the royal family don't live here anymore, but also it baffles me that other countries have royal families. I think because we're so like UK centric and like all we know is like our own royal family. And to be fair, the British royal family is the most famous royal family in the world. But it, I'm like, I want to learn more about the Dutch royal family and about other royal families. I find it fascinating. Dutch, Swedish have one, Spain have yeah. one. It's amazing. Because we just tend to think, oh, we're the only royal family, the one in the UK. This is King Willem Alexander's official reception palace. State visits, New Year's receptions, galas. And so it. it's basically a function, big old function room. It's basically a conference centre for the royal family. <laughs> I wonder where they live. They probably live on the outskirts, somewhere a bit more remote, I imagine. The Madame Tussauds is also in a grand building. But yeah, this is the, the centre. Lots pigeons. of pigeons. Pigeons everywhere. It's very hard not to get hit by a bike in this city. <laughs> the amount of times we've nearly been hit by a car or a bike, we're looking the wrong way, not looking at all. It's the bikes. It's the bikes. Quiet. They sneak up on you. Yeah, no one dings a, a, the ding. What's it called? The bell. The bell. No one dings the, the bell. bell exactly. This little cheese shop. My dad would love that. This is quite cute, guys. Some seats by the water. We thought we could have a little drink here. I mean, it's next to a road, but it's very European. I've been in your waters Been knocking at your door So I've just Googled and seen that there's a Soho house here in Amsterdam and as a Soho house member who hardly uses his membership, I feel like it would be wrong of me not to visit and make the most of the extortionate membership fee that I pay. I know it's not very local, it's not very Amsterdam-y. It's not shop local. It's not shop local, but we have shop we're going. Local. We have. We had food. We have food. We had the windmill souvenir toy. Thick to a toy. <laughs> As if you're going to play it with it. Still got two and a half hours left. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. We want to maybe go and see the Anne Frank Museum. Maybe also a riverboat tour, but that could be pushing it. But I believe Soho House is maybe this building here. Guys, you're not allowed to vlog at Soho House, but we're on the roof. They told us the roof isn't currently available to sit, but that it was worth seeing for the views, and they were right. Got a little cocktail. Lovely. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. So in the summer, this will be absolutely rammed up here. They've got a swimming pool over on this side. <laughs> lovely view. Well, it's lovely, guys. It's been a nice day. I don't know what else we'll get in because we probably need to think about leaving in a couple of hours. So we still have a bit of time. It's very odd weather because it does feel very autumnal and cloudy, but it is also quite warm for October. It's nearly November. Are you filming me vlog? <laughs> Look, show the vlog what you just took of me whilst I was vlogging, complaining to the camera. <laughs> right, let's go. Our next step is to find the Anne Frank Museum. Sadly guys, it is absolutely rammed. We're not gonna be able to get in to have a look around because the queues are so big. And as you know, we've got limited time. And it looks like Anne Frank's house is under restoration or something. It's covered in scaffolding, so that's also a shame. So anyway, the positive is more of a reason to come back and visit next time. Nice, well, nice bit of history. Yeah, it is. So guys, that bit jutting out on the back was the secret annex where they hid out. This is all we're gonna see today about Frank's house, sadly. <laughs> about the chip situation. Fries. Fries. We see people eating fries everywhere and in ne in the Netherlands they seem to like to eat it in a cone. And they have a like paper a, cone. Shops that are just dedicated yeah. to fries. Yeah, like, just fry are they shops. Doing something to them? Are they covering them in cheese? Well, are they covering them in sauce? That's why you ate all of my fries is because you said there's something weird well, about these fries, but they're like addictive. Frozen. They just tasted like do-it-yourself frozen fries, but they're just Oven like, fries. Yeah, that you put loads of salt on. Yeah. I think there's something... Ooh, chocolate! Guys, we keep finding cute little alleyways and we're like, go on then, let's walk down here. Okay, this is not a local shop and it's a tacky American candy shop that we have all over the UK and clearly all over the Netherlands as well, but this looks crazy. Cookie, Oreo popcorn. Incredible. Eight dollars though for a bag of popcorn. Not worth it. Here he is. Bakery. Ooh, I see waffles. Ooh. 
that looks so good. <laughs> what you wanted? Talk us straight, my little Liebkin. Show us with your face. Are you being electrocuted? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, especially with the Kinder. I don't know, it's just exactly what I wanted. Gooey, chocolatey, sweet. We said we we're gonna be healthy today, but diet has to start tomorrow, because this is too good. So Keegan just did a bit of Googling about why these are all... Tell people I Google, just... Of course you Google. How else would you have learned anything? Just pretend that I know that. That you learned from a local, or you just, you know architecture? Just know things. My dad would know, he's a structural engineer. But Keegan Googled it, guys, to say why are these buildings wonky? And if you want to know, Google it yourself. Because <laughs> I'm not telling you. Something to do with avoiding flooding. Originally, Amsterdam is built on lots of canals. So things were originally built on stilts, wooden stilts. When the wooden stilts um, were replaced with concrete, the foundations, it wasn't done very well and it caused a lot of subsidence for a lot of things. Also, the city was, is prone to flooding and have very, most of the houses have very narrow staircases. So if your house was flooding, you wouldn't be able to get all your expensive furniture up the stairs. So they tilt the houses. That's why some of them lean forward so the water would run out of the house or at least to one end so you could just push your furniture to one side of the house and save it. Saved you a Google. It sounds very much like covering up symptoms instead of trying to fix the issue. <laughs> but the result is a very quaint city with wonky buildings, which I personally love the wonky buildings. Wow, oh gosh, are we in that district? Oh, we are. I'm not going to film because I'll probably get told off. Um, but yeah. Well, we're back in the car. That was a really good trip. You know, it cost us one euro parking because we did park and ride and then five euro fifty for two tickets into the town. So between us, that's six euros fifty. Well, it wasn't five fifty each. Oh, right, yeah. It was five fifty for one person or two people. So you could essentially get two for the price of one. Just taking my shoes off. I can smell my feet already. I'm so sorry. Gorgeous. But yeah, it was a really good trip. We really enjoyed it. What did you think of Amsterdam from what we saw? Yeah, I really liked it. The public transport was very good, mm -hmm. very easy. Clean. Um, it was clean. Yeah, it was very pleasant. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed the vibe of Amsterdam, yeah. Yeah. It was Amsterdam good. Anyway, uh, it's now time to head to Rotterdam. So I believe it's just over an hour to go to Rotterdam. We might be driving through the Hague. It says an hour and 40. Hour 40? Gosh. Okay, when I checked last night, it was an hour and 12 minutes. So it's definitely gone up. So it's a good job we're, we're leaving early. We're actually ahead of schedule, so. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I post videos every single week, sometimes with this oaf over here. Um, <laughs> no, you make the videos far better, darling. I know. Oh, wow. Confident. Uh, please subscribe if you're new here. Please give the video a like as well. Leave me a comment. I'll try to reply to as many comments as possible. And if you'd like to become a member, I post members only videos. Some are with Keegan, some are with my family, some are just me. If you want extra content, do that. And I will see you next time. Do it, it's worth it. It is worth it. It's juicy. See you soon. Bye.